Welcome everyone, it's Vapor Strakemar. It's time for another episode of Raid Shadow Legends. In this episode, we're gonna make a run through of campaign to try to get the components for, so we got three. Well, okay, first things first. We are going to start to level up our twos. Well, yeah. Um, I'm doing this on purpose because I need these aren't that good anymore. I need the um. The ingredients. The ingredients for my rise to power. Not all of these will be sacrificed because Seder is actually a useful champion. Surprise, surprise. Are you surprised? You should be. So, we're gonna go for that. That makes a second rank four. The third rank four is a bit stickier. So, we're going to do a rundown of campaign. Um, starting with the remaining three and that. So, yeah, welcome everyone. It's Vapor Dragomar. It's time for this. And like and subscribe if you like the content. I continue to work very, very hard to bring you the best I can, although my champions and a lot of my accounts are new, and I am new to this game. So since I am new to this game, I suck. That guy also sucks. But yeah, I suck. Um, but I try not to suck. You know, it makes zero sense to you, but just, 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 just. Um, I've been working on my first account as well, but it's at a stalemate and it currently doesn't have an XP boost running so I've been farming this account really hard because I want to try to make it take advantage of the XP boost while I have it um, because XP boost is the best possible time to farm campaign because that's where a lot of your XP is going to be coming from. Um, I'm also looking for Valerie's and other things but this time, we're going to be just running it through uh, right straight to the end uh, without repeating loads. Yeah, you heard that right, without repeating levels. Um, I'm just going to be running campaigns straight to the end and swapping champions out when they uh, level up. Because uh, that's... I feel that that's the best way right now that I can uh, farm. Is by not really farming, just playing the entire campaign. Like, we still haven't completed this campaign storyline and everything, but we will get there. We will only repeat a level if we lose. So, that's going to be the thing. Can enjoy this nice catapult and all this banner lord technology. Banner lords are actually a very useful faction. Um, so we will be keeping that in mind as we progress. I still am not as good as most of the people in Arena. 
Most of the people I meet are better than me and have farmed more. I'm still trying to get on par with them with this account specifically. Even my other account has issues because of you know, needing gear. And getting gear sets is often very difficult in the early to mid game. Here we're going to swap out um, I made a bit of a mistake, but we're not going to stop here. I only put three in here. Uh, I'm going to keep my promise said to you, we're not repeating levels unless we die, that remains a fact. So yes. Yeah, we're saving the satyrs for another time when we're going to level them to Doom Tower. We're not ready for Doom Tower yet. We need at least the four sixes. And I need, more importantly, I need a tank. I need a rank six tank with fully upgraded gear. keep the, the food charges in here. Because, see, these two and that guy are going to add up. We're going to add up to what we need. Because no matter how many good pulls I get, no matter what champions I get, if I want to actually progress, I have to... I have to try to ascend all of my other champions. And swap them out. When We've gotta, we've gotta keep them, gotta keep the levels flowing, keep the momentum as we watch these champions and look stalkers. I don't know how they look out of that helmet of theirs, you know, with the skull swarm. Do they wear a skull helmet and they look out the, the nose piece? Or is it the side pieces? I think it's the side pieces. At any rate. Because I've got to level up the MVP. MVP. The, the thing is, my, my team lacks good defensive options. And that is a major problem here. Everyone else is already 60 their kale or 60 their Gallic and are mocking me for not having 60 the rest of my team. My only defense is that we don't always have the time to 60 everyone straight away. Um, it's a very difficult process doing so, um, especially if you're a free to play player. Free-to-play is a um, 
It's the hardest way to play this game. Let me put it that way. Let me just say, there's literally the hardest way to play this game. Is because, number one, you can't buy any shards, so you can't always have shards. Um, you have to farm all your champions up for, for your to level up your sixes, so you have to forge everything by yourself. You can't, you can't even buy quality armor sets with your money because they'll keep giving you good deals on that. And you have to pass all of them up. I mean, all of them. You get to pass up so much good stuff you can buy with money in this game. You have to pass it up and earn it all in sweat. It sounds easy until you realize how much sweat you actually have to burn to make it happen. Once you realize the amount, the raw amount of sweat that it actually takes to do this, It'll sink in. The the trouble of this will sink in. Because it doesn't it doesn't sink in right away. The cost of this game does not sink in right away. If you pay money, it's not free by any means, but you, you've made a, you've made a shortcut for yourself. Trust me. Because a lot of the hidden effort required for free to play is not visible from the paid to, the pay to paid accounts. It's not visible. But I assure you, it's definitely there. Now, while I haven't played through this stage in a while, I, uh, to, in my defense, there really isn't anything that I'm prioritizing here. So that's part of why. Focus down, good. No, I have to keep the food in there. Food has to stay. Cause these these have to all get to 30, and then I have to make 20s. So yeah, this is gonna be a complete campaign. Right Let's see if we can go through the whole campaign. Win the whole thing without losing once while farming food. That's the challenge. I think I can do it though. Because my Kale is okay in terms of his power. Um. Yeah, nah. Shield guard isn't our priority. We gotta count. We gotta focus our priorities. Um, because no shield guard isn't exactly food, but at this point he is because of the situation I'm in. The situation I'm in is very dire because. Everyone else has the four sixes except me. So I need to fix that as soon as humanly possible. Because here's the thing, I have some very good champions, but none of them are gonna function properly without food. And since the Shadow Kin is coming up, and my best current Shadowkin tank defense is Taragi. The 
only way he's going to function correctly is with food. So, we have to feed the already obese frog, make it better, or I have to feed Relic Tender. Which I'm thinking feeding Relic Tender might pay dividends faster, but... It's this bitter debate between Shadowkin and High Elves. And of course, the Demon Spawn faction, too. I almost forgot about them. Mortu Macabre? Mortu Macabre is amazing. Um, I might even six star him. Just to, to complete the storyline. Because that's... Then, then I don't have the ally protect tank. Because since she doesn't have ally protect, she can only revive, and that doesn't always work. So then there's this very bitter decision that I have to make. If she doesn't cast a shield, she only cast shields. That's not gonna. It's not gonna. The heals are not gonna shield anyone from the massive damage. Taragi's not gonna do his job anyway to help. So yeah, this is, um. This is Taragi who put a wrench in my plans. By existing. Because he does stuff for my team. That no other champion can. And that's part of the problem here. That is part of the problem. Get him anyway. Need the my core. Need my core move. So yeah. Gonna be fighting Mashald. Because believe it or not, I'm doing this just so that all these other suckers get what they need. Now, the food needs to stay in there. Yes, you can technically solo it, but I don't want him to now you already notice there's a lot of champions here and while this is true I can't keep I can only keep the very specific ones I'm reserving aside until which time I can level them because again the, the top four are the biggest ones Right now, my defense is fine. Okay. That'll be good towards um, the next set.
them and kill the cold heart. I always want the cold heart. Every time I see one, it's like, not every time, it's not like one, but I, when I see one, I think about it. Yeah, I don't have a cold heart. But the one that annoys me most of all is Arbiter. The fact that I have never managed to get an Arbiter this entire time infuriates me. Like, absolutely torments me every day. But I see that I don't have an Arbiter. One day, one day, I will have that. Just you wait. Just you wait. And I'll have to argue with six star. I will do it. Account. I won't rest on this account until it's done. But yeah. So basically, my objective here is to basically go through this as fast as possible watching the skid walkers now and the interesting mushroom forest. Get through this. Like from here, not even to the stage select screen. We're not gonna stop until until we get to the actual end of campaign. We're literally not gonna stop. I predict I could get to the end of the campaign with just food in it. Go. Four, six. I used to be stuck here a really long time. As dumb as that sounds, I used to be stuck here wondering, do I need to rank six for this place? And it's like, most of the time, yeah. Yeah, you do. At least one of them, anyway. But yeah, we're going non-stop with these uh, acid rains. So yep, yeah, we've managed to reach the fourth boss, the, uh, the dragon. A campaign with food missing. Hello, this is Dragon. What's up? Long time. No see. Uh, I remember when the dragon was actually a problem. I remember when older than normal. But thinking about that. No, 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 no. We're keeping the food. We're keeping. We're keeping to the script. That's what we have to do to make this work. Now we're at Felwyn Gate for the speed run. Speed run involves just food and kale. Can we beat the pain? One go with no losses. With just kale and food. So far, so far, this seems to be the case. Yeah, I'm just saying that so far this speedrun to use our our XP boost 
from the beginning to the end of campaign, at least on Brutal, is proving to be... Because I'm not going to do all three difficulties of campaign at once. Although that would be hilarious. The reason I attack him first is I'm trying to make sure that he doesn't make all of his buds immortal. Because I don't need that. I really don't need that. So, yeah. So we're going to be fighting that. These dogs. And these Tauruses. Maybe I'll just use the two dupe, uh, ones. As, as it turns out... Yeah, we have dupes. Let's just use up the dupes for now, leave that other one aside, and use up the Because... If we got dupes... We might as well declutter our repertoire. So yeah, we're making it through Felwyn's Gate relatively quick, actually. Acid rains. We're, like, we're, we're, we're getting some work done. The dark bolt helps finish off the uh, lower. But yeah, there's a reason I'm doing this. Is I'm trying to get to the end. Um, as quick as I can with the food and tow so that we can give as much variety content as possible while getting my champions up to par. Because the thing is, the rest of my team is not in a good place. That's the truth. It's a bitter truth, but it's a truth that we have to face. My war priest is not in the right spot here. Um, I will be fixing that soon. I have, to, I have to set aside ingredients. Oh, did you see how clean that was? Anyone see how clean that was? How I set that up to get the, the man eater low? Anyone see that? That was clean. Keep in mind, this is mostly kale. This is mostly just kale here. So I am using my individual Kale skills to get through this whole place. Pretty much all well enough. The only thing that's here is food. And he isn't even at his final form yet because he needs a banner and stuff. Which means I have to go farm stuff. Yeah, we're going to be fighting him. We will be fight- Warchief is one of the harder bosses to solo, but I think I can do it. I'm finally at the point in the game where I can do that. Um, gotta stick to the script. Because again, if we don't- Get, stick to it. We're not gonna progress fast enough anyway. Full campaign speed run. Don't anyone ever tell me I don't play campaign. We will do the thing in full with food in tow to fight all of the uh, full brutal campaign speed run with food against these beautiful high elves. High elves are actually very beautiful. Awesome. 
if we lose one round, it's over. So literally, it's all on me. All on me to beat this with just kale and food. And I have to I have to play this perfectly or the run's over. Can I do it? Keep in mind it's mostly just kale, because the food doesn't have any gear on it. And to make it and it makes it more challenging about this. I'll tell you what makes this more challenging. The fact that I am not, I repeat, I am not keeping the same food in there to even help Kale. I'm putting up new food to level each time. New champions each time. That's right. No, you did not miss you. Well, that's why this in specific is actually more challenging than it looks. What I'm doing here. Because I'm not backtracking. I'm not backtracking. I'm not repeating levels. I'm going straight. Now, this is not this is not as casual as it looks. I'm making this look casual. It's really Kale versus the entirety of Brutal Campaign. That's right. You, you heard it here first. And the only reason this is even moderately like doable is the fact that my Kale is in a half decent place on here. It's not great mind you but it's it's half okay like it's not it's not terrible let me put it that way we will be continuing Rampage through the depths of this place. Hopefully, this will give us enough overall XP as we rank level up to uh, give us enough for our. The, the speed run continues through Palace of Arabia. Acid Rain, that whole bunch. So this isn't over yet. Things are getting a little spicier than normal. He's locking out my skills. And he's the only real one that's farming this whole thing. The rest of it's just food. That's right. The rest of it is just food I'm prioritizing. So that's that's the scary part about this run that Kale is not getting any significant help. It looks like he's having help. But he isn't. Not, not anything significant. Ava, she just one shot that door. Totally expected. Food. Leveling. Specific purpose. And and to and, 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 and we're making this clear, right? We are keeping the food train going in here. 
100%. Continuing on with Tillshire. You look alike to Felwyn's Gate, but it's snowy. Snowy. But yes, this is the full campaign speed run, uncut, unedited. This is it. And we're we're going until we get it. going until all of that's leveled up. Until everyone is leveled up of the people that we're using for food. But we're not repeating any levels. Every all the levels will just be from the one run. Which so far is actually doing a fair amount. Honestly, it's a bit impressive. Because there is a lot to campaign that I wasn't studying. doesn't mean that the struggle on this account is over. Uh-uh. Go, perfect. Keep going. As this, this food is not is not where it needs to be. This run is an over either. It's both of those things at the same time. I will eventually level a Seder for other purposes, but for now, we have a priority to win. We have a priority. So if we don't win the priority. It's dumb. It's dumb because the priority here is to is to do the challenge. The speedrun challenge, and then the second priority is to, uh... The second priority is to get the food for the Turagi. That is the second priority. These are war chances. I'm glad. No, I don't have to Go for an iron flag. He's not the priority. That doesn't like the thing is, even on my other one, I have to prioritize defense over everything else. Because I already have me first, it's the defense aspect that I'm still looking for. At least for now. Because my defense besides Burgess on there is not where it needs to be. To beat Doom Tower, at least. Like, I'm, I'm thinking, though I can't confirm. It may not be necessary, but we'll see if I actually need um, Valerie to beat Doom Tower, because you might need that. So these are things are our boys. 60, which, to be honest, they should be stronger than they actually are, but they're not, so unknown reason, they're not. To him. He's finally dead. Dead this time. 
We're gonna fight good old Big Gun. Um, he is an interesting boss, but I don't fight him much because I don't play in this area that much. It's an interesting scope. Like this seeker is actually really devastating. Going in with that. Um, no, we're, we're sticking to the script for now. As we go into Valdemar Strait. Yes, we should be able to beat this. Granted, it'll take a while, but we should be able to just straight up get there. Um, good old Elothar is going to be a problem. Though. Increasing his turn meter is good there. We will be swapping out. I still don't know if we'll have the ingredients, but we may by the end. What would be optimal, though I don't know if we'll do it, is if we could get enough fours to both make a rank 5 food and get War Priest um, up a rank. That would be optimal. But I don't know if we can do it. Yeah, I don't know if we can do it. I think we can rank up all our ones here. As surprising as that is. Never thought you heard me say those words. But I'm getting a surprising amount of levels and resources, even though I'm not repeating any levels from doing Which is fun and good. War Priest would be a big one. I don't know if we'll have enough resources to fix both War Priest and make a rank 5 food, but we'll try. The rank 5 food is the priority, the secondary is to get War Priest to rank 5. In case we need like, a uh, defensive. Sacred Order or defensive like comp, or defensive comp with just healers, because that's generally what we want. What? Don't understand how the documents are not correct. Well, I did. I did look for all the paint scraps. Did that? 
But that part makes sense. Again, that's far easier than figuring out the, those specific... Because every time I think I do it right, you tell me it's wrong. That's not a very good life steal piece. So yeah, we're continuing through Valdemar Street. Continuing to find these uh, sacred little guys, including the sergeants, necks, intercessors. Of course, the uh, punk monks, the outlaw monks, and, and Armager. Armager is like one of the, the top tier. Armager is top tier for uh, Sacred Order. Uh, yeah, we're gonna swap that guy out. So where do we have to? Who do we have to swap to? I just swapped to this dupe. Because the other guys will go into ranking up those other ones. That's how it's gonna go. And at the end is Bad Alcazar. Hey, buddy, what's up? It's been a while. I'm probably, I am gonna end up soloing you anyway because I put a bunch of food here. Ill equipped, low level champs. Poison this guy. There we go. Um. Put him in. Boom, boom, boom. Setting aside. But yeah, uh, yeah, I might have just burn up all those guys. Because again, they aren't the priority. We've got priorities to focus on. If we don't focus those priorities, this account's good. That's what this is also about as we go through the good old Deadlands. Deadlands, Deadlands, Deadlands. Years back. So yeah, Deadlands is an interesting place. It's got a lot of um, looking ladies in it. Granted, they aren't my priority right now either. They are not my priority. Continue to 9-3 Brutal. And find these uh, face painted warriors of Doom. Who I will probably put on a team pump in the future when I prioritize them. They aren't the best face tankers as you can see by the fact that just I mean these guys are, but I don't have one of them. So. And they don't do ally protect either, they just protect themselves. Which um, doesn't really help me when the rest of my team is dying and like Kale needs help. Like, he doesn't need help here. He needs help in certain other content. And when he needs the help, who am I gonna call? Who am I gonna call? 
nobody because I don't have someone who qualifies. Yeah, the rules of this run. So yeah, like and subscribe. I'm still trying to do more work. A lot of a lot of the player base of this video is subscribed anyway, which is very annoying to me, but it is what it is. I I'm still doing the speedrun challenge because it's not over yet. It's not over until I get past more to my top. And polish up all the food, but we'll probably get to more the top first. Because the XP boost is going to level all this up. And I'll have to make another Because we might be able to take Fives with this, not this one. Well, yeah, technically. All right, we're gonna be fighting the dragon. I'm gonna swap that one out. Um. I think this will qualify, so I can afford to make yet another one later. Like, have that as a base. Because uh, that's going to be important to have another base. Because we're going to want to make another setup. Maybe do another campaign run through later on the solo without filming it. That's generally how we're going to want to do this. Can we make the speed run? Kill the dragon solo. Shouldn't be excessively difficult because it's poison at the back. Which is happening pretty quick actually. Should be able to kill him in under a minute. Yes. Okay, that's not decent. No, we're gonna swap that out. Um gotta keep the food flowing. Um, yes. Gotta keep it flowing. Okay, I'm gonna go here. Well, so far the speed run has been successful, but... I have to go through, let's say, two more full stages, I think we'll be done. Assuming Kale doesn't die, then the run's over. Hopefully Kale doesn't die. And then the run ends right there. Because that's what the challenge is. We have to run the whole campaign through, and Kale has to not die once. And the only assistance he has is food. fights the lizard men who despite being level 60 are getting annihilated by kale as if they are not I mean they are wiping out these lower level characters but again this isn't this isn't, this isn't um, big or something not going So yeah, overall, I think the amount of XP we are earning here is going to be enough to give us maybe both goals and an extra goal on top of that. Both 
the goals that I set out this to achieve. And to achieve the third goal of showing a variety of concepts. Let's just say that I'm the run's over anyway, but let's see if we can get to the end of this. Let me get to the end of this all the way. That's the question. It's a real question because these uh, Draco marks are uh, really awful. Yes. So, this also shows that the tail has some weaknesses. So I have to fix that. The hardest part is going to be this setup right here. So I have to like get the harsh crit on that. Alright. Let's see what we gotta do. Yeah, let's just use up all these. Because again, where else are we gonna do this? Can we get through the campaign? One go without leaving. Because I've got at this point, I just want to finish the run. Can I get through it? That's the that's the real. It, it's getting to that point. It's getting to the point where I just want it. The lizard men is the first real challenge of this whole thing. Because these Dracomorphs hurt. Hard. They slam. Like, does anyone see how hard this, this stuff slams for? Anyone at all? Really trying to stay alive. Believe it or not, this is actually really hard. We're getting into the hard zone. The, game. the part where RNG can really mess you over. Draco Morse. get to the end with just me and nobody else. I think we can. I just have to, it just has to go well and not go bad. Alright, next is this boss and then we're going straight to Hollow Halls. To Doom. And then I have to beat that with only food. Hard. It's gonna be really hard. Then I don't have a cleanser. This is harder than I foreseen. Lizard Man, Lizard Man, Blue's Fire, Boom, okay, so, that, 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 and these two. 
who are about to graduate. <sighs> Can I do this? This is going to be the hardest part of all. You may ask, how? You know the boss at this point is going to be difficult to. The boss of this place on Brutal Difficulty is one of the worst possible complete bosses imaginable. Can I do it? Question. This is going to be the hardest part, actually. Believe this or not, this place, this area, is the worst of this whole run. I might not even be able to do this. Like, this is the hardest part. It's the most nerve-wracking part, is this, is this area. Oh, this is the hardest part. Oh. I can beat this last boss. Because this this is the hardest boss. It's not Bastophis. Bastophis is not Bastophis. It's not Lord Macabre. It's this boss. This is literally the hardest part of doing this in one session. Is literally without the just food. This is the hardest part. Not, not, not this particular stage, although these stages are brutal. Um, in more than one way. Uh, but this specific boss. This specific this marble floors of doom. Oh, this is going to be hard. This is going to be hard. Maybe I'll have to do it on technicality as well. Because then I have to, like... This is going to be... This. Bad. This is bad. This is really bad. Thinking about the Mustafa's fight. Mustafa's is just, for a point of reference, is a torturous boss. It locks your cooldowns of your skills and does a lot of damage and hurts a lot. A lot, a lot. Like, not, not a small amount, a lot. Like, you're not surviving it a lot. You, you, you'll make it past the rest of them. Can you make it past the office? Can you make it past the person that literally is practically mortal as a from beyond five? Can you make it past that? That's the real question. Yes, this is a far more challenging run than I previously assumed it would be. Can I make it? Can I make it to the end of this run? Keep in mind, we're not repeating any levels unless we die. That's the rule. This is bad. Okay. Oh. 
Oh, this is getting harder and harder and harder to do. Don't even want to imagine doing this on night game. Don't even want to imagine that. At least we have a rank 4 food. We didn't limit ourselves to a rank of food. We just said food. Because then the, that can help us a little bit. Cushion the blow. Not much. It's just good. It's good. It's good. It's good. Cushion the blow. Because this is actually mentally taxing. Once you get to this stage, doing it is mentally taxing. Like, it, it's not as taxing in, in a... Here's a weird thing. Brimstone Pass is not as hard as this. This is the worst. This is the worst stage in the world. This right here. This is the hardest stage we should have said. I'm not joking. I'd love to be joking. <laughs> this is the worst. Yuck. And this is like the epitome of yuck right here. The epitome. The epitome of yuck. This this stage is the epitome of please no. If I get past this and Bastophis, which is even worse. If I get past Bastophis, the run is basically done. It's just a ceremony to kill the other one. Is this this is the worst. These enemies are the most durable. They are the ones with the most status effects, the most cooldown inducing effects. And they are the ones with the hardest. Like this, I, don't, I cannot explain to you how much this, this, this level alone has trolled me. I can't explain it. Like, seriously, I can't explain it. I don't, I don't know how to explain. And this is the worst part right here. This right here is the worst part. I have to try to beat this boss without a cleanser. Oh no. Th this, this boss is the bane of my existence. Right here. This boss is the reason I was afraid of doing this run in the first place. You really think about it. This is the boss. This is the hardest boss to solo in all of campaign. Period. This boss. Do you see why? Okay, I think I can do it. Disintegrate. Oh, can I do it? Yes! Yes, screw you, Bistophis. Screw you. Okay, we can beat it now. Oh, God. I hate, I hate Bistophis. That boss drives me bonkers. I can't even explain the level of torment that Bastophis causes me. Like, I can't. You, you, you can't know. You can't know the level of torment this boss that boss has caused me. I don't know how many times I've lost to that boss. Ugh. And, and, that, and not just as Elhane, as Kale, as everything. You don't know. Nobody can really know the level of suffering that Hollow Halls has caused me, especially if I have to take that boss on solo. No, 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 don't die. No, kill it. Okay. okay. <laughs> kill the hell gazes, please. No! 
I know I play this game this, this a lot, but now a lot more is on the line. And then the oh, and then I have to do boss with that too. But at least the final boss doesn't have that. I cripple all of your skills. Good luck fighting me now. Moo ha ha ha. Like that's what that other boss does. That's why I hate it. Because it has block cooldown skills. Do you know how obnoxious that is? <laughs> if you're trying to solo it. Unless you have a cleanser. Alright. The run is finally coming to an end. This is the hardest, probably, single campaign run I have ever done. This is the first time I've done this in a full session. Alright, good. Good, good, good. This is also to all the people who don't think I don't play campaign enough. This is, this is my message. I play plenty of campaign. Not that I won't play more, I will end up having to play more anyway. Yes. Alright. So we've nearly made it to the end through these, these Lord Shazars. And to 12-5 Brutal. Where all the food gets to experience what it needs to experience in order to get to its uh, chosen location. And in the next episode, when we feed, um, when we defeat Morty Macabre, we'll call time. That's when we'll call time. Might as well start maxing some of the champs I'm going to be using later anyway, like Gnarlhorn. At this rate. But yes, this is the Tail and Food Only Challenge. Practically Food Only. Can we make it all the way to the end? Using Kale and Food. All right, this is it. This is the finale. We've made it all the way to hell itself. And we have finally found, we have finally found its maker. With only tail and food, with only one surviving food remaining, we will be fighting the Great Terror, Mortu Maka! Which is also why I want a 60 in someday. Because then the whole campaign cycle will be completed. And I have, I have to use the full range. We did it! We did it! Full campaign run through! Only kale and food! We did it. We met a few fails in lizard factions, but other than that, we did it.